Welcome to Psychic Sunday. This is your host, Reverend Kerti, and today we are going to talk about solar flares and how they impact you as a sensitive person. So what we're going to cover is we're going to talk about what solar flares are and why it's important as a sensitive person to know about them, what effect solar flares have on people, what to do during a geomagnetic storm, which is what happens when a solar flare hits the Earth's uh, atmosphere, and where to learn more about solar flares. So let's start up at the top. What are solar flares and why should you care? A solar flare is a brief eruption of intense high energy radiation from the sun's surface. They tend to be associated with sunspots. So in case you're not familiar, sunspots are cooler areas on the sun's surface. And what happens is sometimes those cooler areas let off a huge amount of, uh, a, of radiation and it's this wave of radiation and it will come off in whatever direction it's going but sometimes it hits the earth and whenever it hits the earth's atmosphere it can turn into a geomagnetic storm now this can be really pretty because it's this geomagnetic storm that causes the auroras or the northern lights so it's incredibly gorgeous and beautiful however there can be some side effects if you are a sensitive human being being hit with that radiation these uh, storms can cause disturbances on Earth, including but not limited to power outages and a disruption of radio frequency communications. This is something that uh, flights tend to keep a lot of tabs on because it's really important if you're flying a plane to not have your radio communication go out on you. So this is really important to keep in mind that it is strong enough radiation that it actually can knock out communications. So that's really important to know. And whenever a solar flare goes off, it also affects sensitive people. Now, if you are already sensitive to electronics and uh, power lines and all of that, then you are going to be extra sensitive to solar flares because the solar flares can affect the power lines. That's how powerful they can be. Not all of them are that powerful. Some of them are pretty weak, but they can be that powerful. The effect that solar flares have on sensitive people. All right, so here's the deal. You are a sensitive person. This means you are sensitive to energy. And of course, that's going to include the energy that's given off during a solar flare. Now for a solar flare to actually have an effect, it has to actually hit the earth. The sun is a sphere, obviously, and we are a tiny little ball that is circling the sun. And so most of the solar flares that happen don't actually hit the earth. They go off in a different direction. They don't even make it to us. Some of them, however, do hit the earth, whether it's square on or a glancing blow, it hits the earth. And then that's the one that we want to pay attention to because those are the ones that are going to affect us on an energetic and a physical level. So the typical symptoms whenever we get a full on hit is anxiety, sleep disturbance, which includes insomnia, needing extra sleep, not waking up on time, waking up randomly at 2 a.m. and being wired for an hour and then zonking out, any stress related symptom, overwhelm, headache, feeling off or foggy headed. A side note about the headaches, the headaches tend to be very resistant to painkillers. Uh, now, this is a really, really, really new area of research in science. So, so far, there's not a lot of information. The best guess that we have scientifically is that these symptoms are coming up because uh, the solar flare actually affects our circadian rhythms. So that is most likely what's happening. And so right now, if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, then you can always check to see if, uh, if a solar flare has gone off recently. Of course, some of these can come up for completely normal and natural reasons. You know, these are all normal symptoms of being a human being under any type of stress. So you don't want to assume that it's always going to be the solar flare, but it can be. All right, so what to do during a geomagnetic storm? Now, whenever the solar flare hits the Earth, as I mentioned earlier, that's what creates a geomagnetic storm. It doesn't always turn into a geomagnetic storm, but sometimes it does. Whenever you are under a geomagnetic storm and you know it, the best thing you want to do is to do anything that helps you relieve stress and stay chill. So anything that you know personally that works very well for increasing your relaxation, do it. Here are a few other ideas that I've used myself. Uh, or other sensitive have 
reported to me that work very well for them during a geomagnetic storm. Aromatherapy, essential oils, and a diffuser. This works really well. It helps your nervous system chill out. Salt baths are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I love these. Magnesium supplements. Now, of course, with any supplement, you want to make sure that your doctor isn't against that supplement, that you don't have any conditions that would make this supplement dangerous for you. However, if you know it's good, then magnesium can help with this. Lots of water and cut down the caffeine. If you love coffee as much as I do, then you know how hard this one can be. However, as I mentioned, this can disrupt the sleep. You don't want to add anything else that can possibly disrupt your sleep too. So cut it down or stop drinking caffeine early, whatever. Just have a little bit less than you normally do. Extra meditation and or exercise is also a great way to handle a geomagnetic storm because it will help you work off excess energy if you exercise and it lets you center if you meditate. Now, if you want more information on solar flares, if you want to find out what's happening right now in the weather uh, from the solar weather, space weather, you can go to spaceweather.com to find out what's going on. Now, a note, this is a scientific website, so I've had people tell me it's a little bit intimidating. So if it doesn't intimidate you and you want to get news straight from the source, I highly recommend going to spaceweather.com. It's a wonderful website. If, however, you just want someone to email you uh, whenever there's a solar flare and just say, hey, this is what's happening. It's probably going to be about this intensity uh, and give you a few pointers on how to work your way through it and how long it's going to last. There's a link right below this video. Click it and enter your email and then I'll send you updates about solar flares. Thank you so much. And if you have any other questions about solar flares that I did not answer, feel free to enter them down below. I will answer them as soon as I can, if I know them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Happy Sunday.